Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to the vlog. Captain Content has returned. So I've just made breakfast and it's so hot already, I'm actually sweating. Gonna get off to the gym soon and get in a lift. I'll be mixing it in while I've been here in Northampton, um, but just when I can really, probably just once a week for the most part. Just trying to, yeah, keep my body healthy. I'm not trying to get stiff or kind of beat up for training or anything. I don't want to be feeling sore, so I'm not lifting heavy and I'm doing kind of lower reps as well. So I'll see you there in a bit. from the gym time is about quarter past 12 as you can see there and yeah had a good gym session made it a little bit more intense than usual by kind of shortening the rest periods I was actually sweating loads and I had to take off my top at the end when I was driving home but I realized I hadn't got a spell I think I figured out why though it's because I ate some junk food yesterday so I think I was holding quite a lot of water a lot more than normal anyway but now I'm gonna make some lunch one of the cool things about this house is it's got a pantry. This was the quickest lunch ever to make. Just got a royal gala apple, a sandwich with spinach, mayonnaise, and pork loin. Very basic, very quick. And then two of these milk chocolate rice cakes. So the plan is now, I'm gonna do some work in the garden. I've been doing a few hours uh, out there recently. I just checked, it's 27 degrees, which is why I've got a long sleeve on. Don't wanna get this pale skin all burnt for training. That's why I'm jacking up on the sun cream too. But yeah, hopefully, won't be too bad out there because yesterday I did it in 32 degrees. I only managed an hour yesterday. The other days I've been doing longer than that, maybe like two and a half hours. But yeah, it was actually so hot. I was trying to play music out of my phone and I didn't even know that iPhones did this, but it refused after a while to keep playing music and said that the phone had to cool off so I had to go take it back inside. I think it was getting my neck a little bit though. That sneaky sun that all the life on our planet revolves around. So basically you've got this big concrete wall and the paint has been peeling off it. So I'm gonna remove it, which I have been doing thus far. So that's basically what it looks like there. No good, got the paint remover here so Brush that, give it a couple layers, let it set. Then got my two tools here and these two. So I'm gonna get on with that for a bit and I'll catch up with you guys later. So the time is almost half four now. Earlier I just had a ice lolly and a nut bar to keep me going after some of the work. I did that for about an hour and a half actually today. Currently watching Stranger Things but just taking a break from that to eat dinner. I'll show you what I'm having. So the main is some green and yellow peppers which I'm just doing raw. I'm gonna have that with some hummus. And then as well we've got some sweet potato and chicken both with salt and pepper. And on those gonna have some sweet chili sauce and some mayonnaise. And then for dessert, which should be pretty satisfying, 
is some blackberries and one of these little apricot yogurts. Oh, I went through that food so quickly, I really should try and eat a little bit slower. It's meant to be better for you. So I'm gonna be going out at around half five to get to training for six. It's gonna be no gi first with Coach Ray again, who's in the last vlog, and then after that is MMA with Coach Danny, who's like the head MMA coach. The only thing is, sometimes in the evening, the classes can be a bit noisy because there's multiple classes going on, so we just have to see how we go on that front. But yeah, I'll see you guys there later anyway. <laughs>
back home we find the common cricket waiting at the welcome mat. Hello little friend, please jump for the camera. Oh, okay I'm quite impressed, one more time. Not actually going to try and touch it, I just want it to jump. Go on lad. Oh, you're a darty little fella aren't you? Alright guys anyway, enough hanging about with the cricket there. So I had some good classes tonight, Ray ended up taking both the Nogi 6-7 and then the MMA 7-8 because coach Danny was away. But yeah, Ray's always showing some really nice little details with the grappling. He actually just got his black belt a week or two ago, I think, in London from Hodger Gracie, which is obviously pretty cool. And yeah, in the MMA class tonight, he went over some striking. So on Wednesday nights, to kind of do striking for MMA. So a few different combinations. They work a lot on like blocking, so hand positioning and stuff, um, quite specific for MMA with the little gloves. And then they use that into takedowns too. Both Ray and Danny are good at like filling the gaps. They call it kind of gray areas where they're just kind of using transitions, like looking for extra punches. Like a lot of the focus is cage wrestling and they'll do like ground pound what i've noticed is a lot of the guys are yeah good like punching on the break i didn't get to do any of the rolling though in the nogi and then afterwards they did mma sparring which i also didn't do because on sunday 
was just drilling wrestling and I kind of minorly sprained my ankle so I'm just taking it like this week drilling and then hopefully be back on it like next week. Anyway time to get in a quick little last snack for the day. So just going to have some more of this pork loin and then after that going for two pieces of Weetabix which are an absolute nightmare to get out of the packet. They're always making a mess. Anyway guys I think I'm going to sign out here. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.